Hi Cancer, how are you? If you're new, how welcome and miss me show and this is just your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no day today are divinely cutted. Everything has free one, not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Keep in mind that roles could be reversed before anything. Um, I want to remind you that I run no daycare, so you guys should know that this is general. Feel free to take or leave whatever you want. Also, I want to give you a friendly reminder that I am on Spotify and on Twitch. You can find the links on the description box below as well as on the pin comment. Please support it it's totally free i would highly appreciate it okay so we got here the chariot for you cancer of course your energies the seven of pentacles taurus we go capricorn um the magician and reverse this is air libra gemini aquarius thank you so much for the little we got here the seven of wands leo sagittarius aries uh we got here the emperor here which is aries energy we got here the ten of swords and reverse libra energy the world all the elements the nine of wands this is leo sagittarius energy justice literally just fell this is uh libra and at the bottom Pis pisces cancer scorpio with the five of cups in the reverse so i do see right here babes that you can have been going through some hardships right going through some hardships and it says right here that even though that this hardships could have stopped anybody else you committed and it says right here that you are moving forward confidently you have to commit to this deci decision here now i do see right here that there's a trickster around you this person or the situation that you're walking away from you are doing a lot of progress now now that you're doing a lot of progress this person is like missing you and feeling your energetic pull away from them and they're trying to come in they are actually dressed as the magician in reverse is somebody who's a trickster somebody who is not to be trusted why because of the seven of wands in the reverse right here they like look for you but it's like they don't fight for you and it's like not that you want to be fight for all the time but it's somebody who claims that to love you and all of that but at the same time they just don't do anything besides telling you they love you now with the emperor right here and the ten of swords we got here talking about you you need to actually commit to that decision and you need to take control over it because this person that's coming back trying to stop you could literally stab you in the back i do see that this person has betrayed you before and you could have forgiven them but now they come back again because they feel the energetic pull from you and they're like oh my god i'm losing cancer so they're actually my sort of sign <laughs> so they're actually stressed out and they're actually trying to come back into your life preventing you from moving forward now with the world and the rest right here they're saying right here that the um, energies with this person is not actually energies with this person indeed is not unpredictable it says that you will literally could expect the same thing you have always expected and gotten from this person so it's like hey it's nothing new nothing pretty unpredictable you're gonna get exactly what you have always been given from this person so it's literally up to you you're gonna go for it or not now with the nine of wands right here is giving you that this person is coming into your life because they're afraid of losing you completely yet their energies are temporary in your life and they're going to play you in a way shape or form there's not going to be any justice to be served for you it's not going to be anything that you could you could say it's fair for you the treatment and all the things that you're going to get from them is not fair with the five of cups and the reverse right here i think you have come to terms with the situation and i'm happy that you're doing good but you need to stay away from this person if they were to reach out walk away go the other way now with the nine of swords right here again i see them desperately coming in there could be some sort of arguments or heated arguments until they claim that you don't like them that you don't care for them how can you do this at this point they're just trying to gaslight you in a way to perform they know what they're doing babe they know what they're doing you can't expect happiness with them you cannot expect a happy ending with them and they are going to promise you this and why am i so focused into telling you this because they're going to promise you that and i want you to know that they're not going to give you that they're not so i would highly recommend you to not waste your time on them and don't give them a benefit of the doubt with the tower moment scorpio energies i do see some changes coming your way there's going to be some challenges some drastic changes coming your way it's like putting everything in order by the way there's going to be some secrets being revealed pisces energy some secrets and scorpio energies are going to be revealed into where maybe it doesn't put you in the best position ever but this is going to put you into finding a solution and perhaps an answer i also see right here into where um you got to be careful with your money there could be a legal situation or a situation where you need that you need money now 
I do see that a new lover is coming your way. <laughs> a new lover is coming your way. I look at this a lot because last time I was talking and my freaking thing died. So forgive me. But anyways, and I can't see well from here. But anyways, um, a new lover is coming your way. This could also be a representation of a love message from an old lover. Not connected with them, by the way. Well, then I know once right here, they want you to focus on yourself and focus on healing. They're talking about that you have a lot of like traumas and childhood things that you need to work on um, to actually do not disregard all the work that you have put into yourself, that you have put into your healing, that you have put into finding your way into finding and feeling better. They don't want you to throw that away just because somebody who, you know, doesn't commit or cares or cares for you the way you deserve comes back or tries to come back, you know. They want you to be very stingy with your answers with this person and with your time as they don't deserve it. And oh my goodness. And they say, hey, they don't deserve your time. They don't deserve your attention. They say, be stingy with them. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, it says that that person never deserved you. They, You are too good for them. And they know that. And that's why they're coming in wanting a second chance or so. With the three of pentacles right here they want you to focus in your well-being in your today and your life to work and find what's best for you you know they don't want you to um throw it all away for a promise that it's not gonna come true because they're just never gonna give it to you they just want to make sure that you're not gonna leave so they're gonna say and promise you anything and everything just to make sure you don't go anywhere so at this point they say hey make your reality a reality that you want to be in make yourself proud make the things you want to make today and sadly sometimes the shows and tv shows teaches us that we're gonna find a prince and somebody a hero to save us and they say that's not how it works in their real life they're also encouraging some people to go back to college to finish that or to follow that gut desire of going back to school and education It says, um, <coughs> you're like, oh, I can't do it because maybe it's bad luck. When we're talking about careers and stuff, it's not always about good or bad luck. It's about how much work you put into it. And I have here, this is coconut water with cinnamon. Delicious. But anyways, um, it says right here that you can determine, you can actually change that shift if you feel like bad luck has followed you you can actually put a lot of work and change that shift you can actually change that into a better outcome you know with the two of ones in the reverse right here they're saying what are you waiting for to make those changes in your life to make those permanent and beneficial changes in your life they're asking what are you waiting for With the King of Pentacles in the reverse, they say that you're worthy, that you're able, that you're smart. You need to start believing that. Um, I do see that sometimes you feel like you're afraid of being judged by people, but they say people are not going to judge you. Trust me, everybody has their little dir dirty little secret. Let me tell you that. Sometimes hardships are not a, a punishment, but a blessing in disguise that will push you to do things that you either or think or thought you could never achieve or things that you would have never achieved if it wasn't because of the situation. They're saying that the happiness in the life that you want is in your hands. You just got to believe that you not only deserve it, but that you can all actually achieve it. And you are sometimes your biggest critic. The seven of swords do not let anybody anyone to steal and take from you this could be your happiness your money your time be very stingy with people who do not worship you or do not value you they're not worth fighting for they're not worth your time they want you to start seeing this on a different perspective um i do want you to know to Start seeing things for how they really happen. Sometimes we gaslight ourselves into thinking that something happened a certain way and it didn't happen that way. Um, 
I do feel like if you see things from a different perspective, you're just going to start memorizing things and actually realizing that things were done and said in a different light. And this could help you to find the answers you could seek. They actually want me to tell you something. Um, how do you know if they're interested in you or not? The spirit is telling me and Lily is telling me that no answer is an answer. If you text and they don't answer you, that's an answer. Now, they want you to not feel too bad about it because you should never feel <coughs> bad because you love somebody because you will definitely be able to love again. You can love again somebody else, but they will never have anybody that loved them the way you did. And this could be sound as narcissistic or so, and you can suck my big fat toe if you feel like that. But at the end of the day, what this is telling you is that don't feel like this is just the one and only time that you're going to experience this because it was never about them. It's about, it was always about you. You are the one loving and caring and putting the effort. What makes you think you cannot do it again with somebody else, but somebody else who's worthy and also giving you the same thing back. So at this point, they want you to now to focus on your studies, to focus on your career, to focus on what you want to make your life better. They want your life to be better and comfortable. And we start not only on the emotional side, but we also talk about the financial side. They're saying, it's there's always a reason to not do something and they're also saying there's always a reason why you should change that so at this point it is up to you how far you want to go and there's always a reason why you shouldn't but there's also a reason why you should definitely go for it anything else for cancer they want you to know that your ancestors are watching over you they want you to know that they send you on this earth for you to to fulfill that vow you know and at this point you're putting yourself down they say you know whatever was done instead or the things that you did was that is an accident or so um mistakes they were done we can't change them so at this point what we can do is make better decisions to change that you know now with Herman and the reverse right here, it's time to connect with some friends, some family. Yes, solitude times is good, but also when you feel lonely, when you're pushing everybody away, it's also negative. And they're also saying right here, what are the things that you know they're not serving you, but you're not letting go? You got to find that answer, babe. You got to find that answer. Now I'm going to go with the astrology dice. Where'd they go? Where'd I put them, actually? <laughs> So we're going to go with uh, the planets we got here. Oh, Jupiter. Jupiter in this represents the situation. And this says, pertaining to luck, good fortune, what proper propels your forward, monetary values, prosperous events. And then we got Gemini, which is the emotional side. And this represents seeing both sides, intrigue, overthinking, oversharing, devious, manipulative, intellectual distress. And finally, we got the house's it's the area of life and you had the sixth house represents health day-to-day -day activities hygiene routines can also relate to pet cares or co-workers so this is what i got for you cancer i hope you liked it please don't forget to like and subscribe um, as i always say you are more than welcome to follow me on ig please check out my uh twitch and spotify again it's totally free i got different content there i'm, I'm planning to go live on twitch once i hit thousand subscribers over there uh also i'm open for personal readings for those who want one you can book directly with me on my website the link for that you can find on the description box below as well as on my bio on my instagram with this said i want to remind you that i do not offer any free readings and i never message anybody to offer any of them so with this said i love you guys so much Thank you.